Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Leo, you guys got chameleon spirit act as if number 14 making a five. I feel like Leo, someone here is trying to conform to their environment instead of really shining and being who they are. So I got this scene from this movie, What a Girl Wants. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. It has like a man of binds in it and it's pretty old, but in the movie, she moves to, she tries to see her dad and her dad's like, well, if you want to stay, you have to act like this, which is obviously wrong of him. And she starts to change and she starts to be what they want her to be. But in reality, I feel like, I mean, that's wrong, right? You should let someone be who they are always. And you should love them unconditionally without judgment. And I feel like this has been a very common theme for Leo's reads where they don't feel like they have that unconditional love. And that's what, what that is what makes this person feel like they need to conform and what i'm getting leo is that with this five the pressure right now to conform is probably greater than ever and your the pressure within you to just like act out is also and i don't mean act out i just mean like be yourself is also very high so i feel like someone here is just like tired of playing the role um, and I hope that's what this is because I really can't go through another read with someone who's just trying to, you know, conform. I feel like you, you, you know what you need to do at this point. It's like, stop trying to camouflage, stop trying to, you know, be someone that you're not, you know, and if the love isn't coming from a parent, I mean, it's probably from a parent because you're not being who it is that you, who you're not being what they want you to be. Then obviously that's not true love. That's not real love. So yeah, Leo, let's pull some cards on this. So Leo, I feel this energy of you finally claiming, you know, you're finally feeling confident or if not confident, just like putting an end to you feeling like you can't be yourself, right? Like you're just going to leave any, you're going to leave the situation that you feel, you know, you can't be yourself in anymore. And I feel like that's what this death card is. And it's the first card, right? With this six of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like where you were chained in the past and you had no freedom and you had no movement and you weren't being yourself, you're putting an end to that. But I also see that there will be a backlash from the people around you. So those people that made you feel like you had to conform, I do think that they're not going to be happy with this movement with like that well, with what you're doing right so let's just say like there's a lot of things that were prohibited for you i don't know why i'm getting the word prohibited it's like a strong word but there's a lot of things that you know you know when people don't say that you can't do that but like if you were to do it you know that there'd be some sort of there'd be they'd be against that like your parents or your family or whatever i feel like you're gonna go in that direction but i i do feel i do feel backlash like i do feel like the people that are keeping you down are going to try to keep like that control over you and if that means like taking away money or taking away stability in your life then they'll do that they're like i just feel someone here really trying to clip your wings like they're really trying to clip your wings but i don't think you care anymore like i i really don't think you care because i don't think that there could be more of a betrayal Let's just say like these people do try to tell you like, okay, we're not going to help you, you know, you know, you want this, this and this, we, we can't help you anymore, right? Let's just say it gets like that where your family or your friends or whoever this is, is like, you know, now that you're not going to be, you know, what we need you to be, we're going to take stuff away from you. And I feel like you're ready for that, but I feel like that is not going to be worse than where you were already. So you, you kind of conforming was probably the worst feeling ever and nothing will ever feel as bad as that and that's what i have to tell you so if people start to you know change around you and act like you know you're betraying them and 
what I'm getting with your family or whoever this is, is that everything to them is very conditional, right? Like the love that they have for you is just conditional. It's not, it's not balanced. It's not, it's not real. The, the love that they have is just, you know, again, if you do what you do, as I say, and I think you're, I'm telling you now, there will be nothing worse than what you've already been through. So you can be assured, like whatever they have to take away from you, it's not going to feel as badly as it's already felt for you in your life. So again, you're not, you're prepared and you already know that. I feel like you've already betrayed yourself so many times and had to like, not say anything and been silent and conforming like so many times in your life that that was the biggest betrayal to yourself now now you're fine like you're just like you know what okay take that away like i'm already prepared for that so i see a leo here who's just like done you know like it doesn't matter what you what you can say or do or try to take away from me i'm free like i don't care like that's that's the defiance i feel in within you and i feel like it's really really a beautiful thing but now i feel leo the next <laughs> the next I guess bump in the road is now that you're journeying towards becoming yourself or just being more authentic to who it is that you are. I feel like, yeah, you want to bring justice to yourself and you want to be loyal to who it is that you are. And I think you also want to be with someone who's just as loyal to you as just as loyal to themselves, right? Like, I don't, I know, I think you want to be with someone that is, I think you might be inspired by someone who's also very authentic. Like, that's what I'm getting with this. Like, I feel like you're, you not, you're not only at a crossroads where you have to choose yourself, but I feel like you're, there's someone that you see doing that and you see the way that they live their life. And that's like an example to you. And I feel like that is what you're kind of looking at right now. There's someone that you, you admire for them being exactly who it is that they are and that's that's what you're about to do like you're getting yourself out of a situation and bringing justice to yourself and again you don't care how anybody sees you anymore like people in your family people like that want to take things away from you you don't really care but i do also see like you like i do also see that you look up to someone like there's someone that you look to that i think is an example to you as in in terms of that they they are truly themselves and they're very happy and they're very free and they don't really care what people think about them so there is someone that you see um that is in like an example to you and what i'm getting with this is that i think you want to kind of race towards them but i honestly feel like they they might not I feel two things. I feel like if you go towards this person, there will be a lot of backlash from family. And that is one of those conditional things like that they never really said to you, but they like expected you not to go towards this person. So I feel like you already don't really care because you understand that their love is conditional and it doesn't necessarily matter. Anything that you do at this point is going to be a problem. So you're not, you're okay with that. But I don't know if you're okay with the fact that I think this person that you, that this is like the example to you, this earth sign, I feel like this is a person that you think is very authentic and i don't know how to explain this but i don't know if they're necessarily gonna be there when you go towards them like i feel like you're gonna start racing towards a soulmate and what i'm getting with this person is like you have something to offer them but you're not necessarily ready for what they have to say or you're not necessarily i don't know i feel like you think that this person is someone who's just sitting there waiting for you or just a person who's just sitting there thinking about you or is the type of person that has been like waiting their whole life for you to come back and what i'm getting with this leo is like it's not really like that <laughs> um i'm sorry uh again i don't know how long you've been in this cycle where you've been conforming but in all that time that you've been away right now that you're going towards someone it's a little bit it seems a little bit like, yeah, you're you're here. And I'm so, I feel like this person's gonna be really happy for you that you're finally making your own moves and you're finally, you know, doing what's best for you in your life. And you're not really being controlled by anybody anymore. But I also see that I don't think this person, they're sitting in Queen of Swords energy, Queen of Pentacle energy in reverse. I don't think that they necessarily wanna like give you a hug and love you to death. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this person has been on their own for a really long time. 
And even though they might understand your situation and they might understand the circumstances that you've been through and how much work it was to get to this point, et cetera, et cetera, like they understand that. I feel like they would understand that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna come and like open you, open their arms to you and be like, oh my God, I'm so glad you're here. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's this energy here where again maybe maybe the whole reason why you're like getting out of the cycle is to be with someone else right like you're like you know what like i'm just not happy anymore and i might as well just do whatever it is that makes me happy and being with this person makes me happy and this is a deal breaker for my family but i'm going to be with this person but what i'm getting with this person is like i don't necessarily think that they're going to be again they're, they're not going to be just like sitting there waiting for you and that's something that you have to understand like you left somebody alone for a really long time and to expect somebody to just have been sitting there for however long doesn't make any sense to me so i feel like that's something that you kind of have to understand i feel like this person is more in queen of swords energy this person is yeah they might have ha they might have a lot of love for you but that doesn't mean that they you know have like <laughs> then they're not gonna just be like hey yeah yeah let's get back together sure like of course 100 percent. like no that's not the energy here at all the energy here with the queen of swords and the moon is like yeah this person understands what you've been through but that doesn't mean that this person wants to take you back that doesn't mean that this person is like ready to forgive you and you know what i mean like you have to give this person their own time like maybe you've been thinking about this person for a really long time but this person has been alone that's what i'm getting like this person hasn't been around anybody and they just kind of see you as someone who left their life and someone who was maybe being inauthentic and somebody who was being like fake so now that you come back around and i just feel like this person's like wow like okay what am i supposed to do with this information like i'm so glad you're here but at the end of the day like i've been living my own life like what what do you necessarily expect this person to say but yeah i feel like you I, I just have to warn you about that. Like, I think that you have this misconception about this person. And I think this person, yeah, they are a very loving person and they are someone who might accept you one day, but that doesn't mean it's going to be today. So just keep that in mind, Leo. And what I'm getting with the end of this read is that with the Seven of Cups, you're okay with the fact that I, I think you're okay with anything at this point. I think you just want to get out of the situation and that's the, that was the hardest thing for you to do. So not everything else looks like a piece of cake to you. I honestly don't feel like you're like sad. I don't feel like you're, you're, you're gonna be missing anything from the past, you know what I mean? From the tradition that like they, there's something like, again, I feel like they want you to like miss. They're like, oh, you know, you're gonna miss this and you're gonna miss that and you're gonna miss all this. And I don't feel like you're gonna miss it at all. Like, I just feel like you're done with all that shit. Like you're like, oh yeah, like I'll miss this and I'll miss that, sure. Like, whatever you guys need to believe to make me stay, but I'm not staying. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're just not staying. You don't care what you're going to miss out on. It's like, they're going to be like, oh, like, I feel like there's a guilt here. Like, oh, like, you're going to miss this and that. And this person's birthday is this day, and you're going to miss that. And, you're, you know, you're going to be doing this and that. And you're putting other people in front of your own family. And I just feel like you don't care. Like, you're not sad about it at all. <laughs> Um, and I feel like the fear is gone. The fear that you had, like, of all the repercussions that would happen if you went and approached somebody, it's like, it's gone. Like, I approached this person and I didn't melt and I didn't die and, like, I'm fine. You know what I mean? I left this, whatever, this family dynamic and I'm fine. Like, I'm good. Like, I feel like you finally realized that. But I do think there's this, like, nostalgic feeling that, you, you know, you're missing out on a person or you missed out on a person for a really long time or, like, this person doesn't trust you anymore. Um, and this person doesn't see you the same and I feel like that's what you lost from the cycle um, But I feel like you're kind of you what I'm getting here with the seven of swords and the lovers is that The seven of swords in reverse and the lovers is that you're willing to like put time into this now You're willing to put the work in um, I don't feel like you want to leave this person But I do feel like this person does see you differently now and I feel like that's the repercussions for this whole cycle, right? like yeah, you finally found yourself, but what you lost when you were gone i feel like is this person and now you have to go back and regain all of this trust with this person and kind of show this person that you don't want to leave and show this person that you're not flighty and show this person that you actually mean to stay but i think it's going to be more difficult than you think because this person is sitting in queen of swords energy um this person doesn't take like any shit, do you know what i'm saying and this person they don't really, again, they, they, I feel like they're sympathetic to a point, but they're not, you know, going to be, they don't want to be deceived. 
So they're going to be very, you know, I think they're not going to be what you think they're going to be. Like, I think you want someone to come. And again, I keep getting this idea of like somebody, you know, you're running to them and they like have, they, they give you a hug or something and like that. I don't feel like that's the vibe at all. So I feel like if you can prepare yourself for that, then yeah, I, I definitely think this is a beautiful read, Leo. And I think that the work that you've done is like very important. And I definitely see you putting in time and not wanting to leave this person again. Like you're, you're like, you know what, I'm here to stay. Like I've made my decision and I'm here to stay. I don't want to leave. Um, I, I know, I think this person has a lot of feelings towards you that are not necessarily too positive, but I feel like if you're willing to work through that and willing to give this person time, I think that this could be a really beautiful thing. Let me see what this person, let's see. Um, Let's see what what's like the ending result between you and this person. I feel like I'm going to tell you straight up, like you have to put in work and time with this person. This person doesn't see you as they, they see you as someone who's just going to leave them. Do you know what I'm saying? They don't they don't they don't, don't necessarily believe you. Do you know what I'm saying? So you have to put in that time. Yeah, so I feel like there could be a higher level of commitment here with this person. Um, cause I was like, what's going to happen like between you and this person, um, the person that you admire and I have the four of wands. So that means a higher level of commitment. I feel like that is definitely on the table. Um, if you have someone that you need to stop communicating with from the old cycle, then that's something that I feel like you should do now before, because I have, I feel like, again, this, this queen could be the queen of wands and be someone that you're connected to, or this could be a past person that you're connected to that you have to end communication with. So either way, it's like you have to put in time with this new person. This person sees you as flighty. You want a higher level of commitment with you. There's You want a higher level of commitment with this person, and there's potential for that with the four of wands, 100%. But if there's anyone from the past that you need to let go of, then you need to do that. And if not, then this person is going to see the fact that you haven't communicated with them and you haven't really told them the story like of what happened here and I feel like that's something that you need to do like you can't just show up and not have anything to say do you know what I'm saying so I feel like the best advice I can give to you is yes there's potential for a high level of commitment with this person if you do go towards them but with these cards it's saying either you have to let someone go from the past and make sure that's 100% not an issue because that's something that this person is going to ask you about and if that's not the case then this new this person that you're going towards wants to know everything like that happened and i think again if you try to withhold communication and just give them half of the story that's not going to help you at all <laughs> so yeah and i do see yeah the ten of pentacles yeah you want this person to this is the person you want to choose but you have to do it the right way right so that means giving this person time to be honest because this person is sitting in queen of swords energy and i feel like this person doesn't necessarily trust you so yeah leo let's pull some advice for you Yeah, Lala came out, the scene of spoken words. Uh, every word I say becomes a prayer. I'm the author of my own story. This is exactly what I was saying about this communication. Like, either you have to stop communicating with someone from the past because that's going to be a question that this, you know, the person you're going towards, that's what they want to know. Like, are you still connected to this person? If you are, like, I, I don't want to have anything to do with you. And that's it. You're gonna lose. Uh, you're gonna lose this person completely, especially if you try to lie about it. So don't even like that. Can't even be an option here. Another thing I'm getting is if like you don't want to talk to this person about what really happened here, then that's another problem. So I again, Leo, you have to be very careful because I definitely see you are changing and you want things to be different in your life, and that's all good. I'm really proud of you for that. But now when you approach this person. You have to understand what they've been through and like empathize with them and see their point of view. Their point of view is that like you just disappeared probably. You just left. Um, you didn't want to commit to them, whatever it was. Like they see you maybe in a negative light. And if you're willing to change that perception and willing to put work into that. Yeah, look at this. At the bottom of the card is perception and the Ten of Cups. If you're willing to put in work to change their perception, then you're going to have the Ten of Cups with them. You're going to have the Ten of Coins with this person and you're going to have a higher level of commitment. So I see you getting married. I see you having kids. I see you having everything that you want with this person. But you have to be someone who's very open like every word i say becomes a prayer i'm the author of my own story so yeah you're taking you're taking everything into your own hands and i feel like that's what's making you feel super powerful just remember that everything that you tell like you have to be honest with this person you have to tell them like everything that happened i feel like that's just gonna make your bond 
even closer to this person like yeah um you might have left this person but you can explain to them what you've been through you know what i mean like yeah you might have disappeared for a while but you can explain to them why that was um yeah like your family might be um very authoritative and very like messy and things with them might not seem things might with them might be very complicated and maybe you don't want to even tell this person that because you're like you know what why would this person want to be with me if my family is like this like I, i'm going to put my family down and that's going to be bad or i'm going to show them a side of my family and they're going to be like scared but you have to tell the truth here leo and i feel like this begins with just communicating like telling them you know everything and again you are putting you are changing your story here you're changing your story because i feel like you could have easily just sat down and just been doing what everybody wanted you to do and you're not doing that anymore and i feel like if you can overcome this energy of conformity and go towards this person that you admire <laughs> you're gonna have everything you want like this is a crazy ass read look at this shit if, if you can change this person's mind about you and stick around and not be afraid of the judgment that they have for you then like look <laughs> you have the ten of cups the ten of coins and the four of wands so yeah i definitely see leo like this is um this could be such a beautiful thing if again you if you have anyone from the past you have to let them go obviously and if if this is just this other person um i think that you know it's either cut ties with someone from the past and really cut them or make sure that you explain everything to this person so they they can see what you've been through and i feel like they're not gonna n not like you for that they're gonna love you because you're being authentic and authenticity is just telling your story, right? And that is what your story is, right? Yeah, I, I'm the author of my own story. So I feel like they'd admire you more for just being honest and not trying to hide anything. So yeah, Leo, this is such a beautiful read. This is like the breakthrough energy. I'm really proud of you guys. I love you guys so much. I see, I haven't seen these cards all together, but this is like everything you could ever want with a person, right? So yeah, I think that that's all in the cards for you, Leo. And I'm really happy for you. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.